Hey friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a new December Daily 2022 layout to share with you. I'm getting close to being finished. I am scrapbooking New Year's Day in this layout, New Year's Eve, part of me. And it's a double page layout. And after this, I have only, I think, two more layouts to make and record. And then I am done December Daily super excited to move on to other things but also super excited to be uh nearing finishing this project i absolutely love it and have so much fun putting it together so like i said this is a double page layout the one page is going to be like a traveler's notebook size page so it is uh roughly four and a half inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall I used the offset function to create the base of the layout. So that's the red and the white pieces of cardstock in the background. And the piece that is layered over top of it is cut from close to my heart cardstock that is almond, I believe. If it's not almond, then it's toffee. Um, actually, it's probably toffee. That was cut with the cut file in Cricut Design Space. This whole project was created in Cricut Design Space. It was designed first and then created with my Cricut Explore. On top of that, I am adding 2022. It's a die cut image um, that I cut from blue cardstock. And on top of that, I am adding a star. Now the star was going to be cut from cardstock to begin with. It was a plaid pattern. And while I love it, I wasn't convinced it was going to cut without there being issues. So at the last second, I hid that image on the um, mats panel and swapped it out for pattern paper. That pattern paper is from Coco Vanilla Studio. Um, it was just scrap paper that I had in one of my bins. So I'm not 100% sure what collection it came from. It could very well have been from... Um, No limits. Uh, it took me a minute to think of what it was. But anyways, I think that may have been where that pattern paper came from. And I really, really like how it came out. I think that was a good call. On the star, I'm going to be attaching this little die cut tag that I created in Cricut Design Space. I got smart with that little bow. Um, the image itself cuts twice and then you have to assemble the bow together meaning the back part of the bow where it's the darkest fits into the front part of it which would be lighter. I realized to make things easier for myself in Cricut Design Space to duplicate the image and then weld the first image together and then the second image that I duplicated um, ungroup that and get rid of the main part of the bow and just keep the back part of the bow, the loop where it looks darker, and then attach that with glue once it's cut um, together. And it works so much better. I don't have to fight with the bow to try and get the placement correct so that it fits all nicely together. It's already done. All I have to do is put that second piece over top of it and um, it just comes together a lot easier. So food for thought if you use that bow um, in your crafting at all. Um, you just saw me assemble the rest of that page. Um, all I really did was add some coloring to the drawn image, which was created with the draw and cut function. And then I added some glitter to the bow as well with a close to my heart clear shimmer brush. Now I'm moving on to the pocket page portion of this layout. So it is a six by eight pocket page. It has two four by six pockets in it and I'm working on the journal card that is going in one of the pockets right now. I cut a four by six inch piece of cardstock from uh, textured white cardstock. Um, and then the red panel was cut from obviously red cardstock that is layered over top of it. I used liquid glue to attach those two pieces together. And then the top portion was a combination of the draw and cut function um, in Cricut Design Space. And then I used my computer to type the journaling out and then print it at home. I printed my photo at home as well. 
Um, I'll leave the links to all the products that I used in the description box down below, including my printer and what photo paper I use as well, um, which is basically just premium glossy photo paper that I buy at Staples. I'm coloring the image in on this journal card as well. I'm just sticking with the one um, Spectrum Noir marker. It is the muted brown. Um, and I'm adding just a little bit of shading. So I'm using all three markers in the one pen to do that coloring. And then that little heart down at the bottom, I did the same, just with some simple shading, starting with the darkest at the top and then moving to the lightest at the bottom. I like to start with the lighter pen first and then come in with the two darker colors afterwards and then go back to that clear or not the clear but the lighter shade and blend it all together i know there's different ways of coloring none of them are wrong um, this is just the way that i prefer to do it here's the close-ups thank you so much for joining me today friends i hope you enjoyed my process video i hope you enjoyed this uh, layout and if you did please give me a thumbs up and a like and i will be back again soon with more creative inspiration Take care, friends. Bye.